In this video, I'm going to discuss about checked keyword in C sharp. First of all, let's create one class, class program, and inside the program class, there is a main function, and I can create here one variable a. And if I want to know the maximum value of integer, then int dot max value. And if I want to know about the maximum value of integer, then I can just print the value of a here. And if I run this code by pressing the run button, our code is running here. And the output is 21474836467. This is my maximum value I can store in the integer data type. And if I want to add some value here into the a value and we have already displayed that the maximum integer value and again we are adding some value there it means that we are doing something wrong but if i run this program here again then it is running here and it won't show any error and it will give us the wrong value this is our wrong value but it won't show any errors so to handle such types of situations in c sharp we can use the check keyword so just type the chck check and give the curly braces and just put out put our code inside this checked block and if i paste this code into here and if i run this code again by pressing the run button and uh, our code is running here and you can see here on handle exception this is overflow exception so we are trying to add more value into the integer value that is already displayed the maximum value of the integer so it can display the maximum value if we use the check keyword it means that it checks whether there is an overflow exception or not. And if I put here the unchecked keyword here, and if I again run this code by pressing the run button, then it is running here and it again shows the wrong value here. It means that if we use the unchecked keyword, then it doesn't check any anything inside this curly braces or you can say inside this scope of the unchecked block. But if I put the value, if I put the check keyword, then it will check whether there is something went wrong or not something there is overflow exceptions or not so in in this way we can use the checked keyword and unchecked keyword in csap so if we don't put the unchecked keyword here then also it will it won't show any error sometimes we may need to uh, you know explicitly we have to put the unchecked keyword to to not check about the whether the exceptions or not so in this way we can use the checked keyword and unchecked keyword in csap if you get any confusion Regarding this video, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so very much for watching this video.